Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have something a little bit special for you. We're celebrating the release of my 10th cookbook, Everyday Cook. And if you want recipes that are family favorites, really great doable dishes, and really simple dinners that are gonna get you into the kitchen, you will find them in Everyday Cook. It is my 10th cookbook. And to celebrate, I'm gonna be giving away two copies of this Everyday Cook. If you wanna be in with a chance to win, leave a comment in the box below letting me know your absolute favorite everyday dinner, the one that you come back to every time. And I will choose a winner at random very, very soon. Now, the recipe I'm gonna cook from the book today is Migas Tacos. They're, I wanna say they're not an authentic recipe at all because they're a mishmash of recipes that I've enjoyed in Los Angeles and then I've recreated at home. So you will have to give me a break in the comment section because this is a brunch dish that I absolutely love doing and it's perfect for suppers as well. Basically, it leaves you with this golden velvety scrambled eggs with chipotle paste, really nice flavor from some garlic and tomatoes. And then once you get your beautiful scrambled eggs, you're gonna serve it up on a charred toasted flour tortilla with all the toppings. Some sour cream, some avocado, and plenty of coriander. It makes for a brilliant brunch dish, makes for a great supper dish. And we're gonna start off by frying off our onions in a pan. So into a hot pan with a little bit of oil. So once that pan is nice and hot, get in there with the onions, season them up with some black pepper and some salt. And the great thing about this recipe is that it all comes together quite quickly and quite easily. So as soon as those onions start to take and char a little bit of color, we're gonna get in there with our garlic. Now, meanwhile, I'm gonna pick off some cherry tomatoes off the vine and it's the combination of ingredients here, the sweetness of the cherry tomatoes, the acidity of the lime juice, the smokiness of the chipotle paste. They all work to give you the most epic scrambled eggs you will ever try. So once the onions start to char a little bit and they kind of go a little smoky like that, we're gonna get in there with the garlic. And it happens very quickly. So get your garlic in there, nice and aromatic, and as soon as it starts to cook out, straight in there with your cherry tomatoes. And it's not a bad idea to squeeze one or two of them in so you get a little bit of liquid and it just kind of starts them cooking out in that steam that the liquid creates. Just watch if you're wearing a white top like I am and then you get covered in cherry tomato juice. But look, it's okay, I have a good washing machine. A few cherry tomatoes in there and they're just gonna soften down as this cooks out. So as soon as they're starting to soften down, I'm gonna reduce the heat and let them cook out while we crack on with our eggs. So for this recipe, I need about four eggs here for two people. Into our eggs with a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And just give them a good whisk through. Next into the pan. Chipotle paste, a great store covered ingredient if you can get your hand on it. It's gonna give you this smoky heat that is absolutely lovely. So straight in there with the chipotle paste and the minute it hits the pan, you get wafting that gorgeous sweet heat it gives. So get your tomatoes, onions, and all those good things in the pan coated in the chipotle paste. And as soon as you feel like you have things going in the right direction, you have your eggs whisked. We're gonna get that straight in and create very simple scrambled eggs. Lovely. Okay, working quickly. As soon as you add the eggs in there, go in there with plenty of tortilla chips and crunch them up. You're gonna get great texture, you're gonna get great flavor. And as you make these velvety strands, you're gonna get that combination of textures. Nice, softly cooked eggs, rich smokiness, and then that crunch of tortilla. So as soon as it looks cooked like this, straight off the heat. And now it's time to toast up our tortilla. This is one of the best ways of making sure you get great flavor out of your tortillas. You get them out of a plastic packet and they look a bit miserable. You want to add heat and you want to add char and smokiness and that's exactly what this hot flame will do. Now it's just a case of assembling. So I have the scrambled eggs, the tortilla chips, and you're just gonna lay that down the middle. 
Now, it might not look like much right now, but it's time to build it with all the extra bits. And if you're serving this for a brunch or a supper, lay this out as they are on the plate and then let people help themselves. So I have some cheese, which I'm gonna place over the top. I have a few dollops of sour cream. Some nice slices of avocado. And it just comes together as a really gorgeous looking dish that is just so full of flavor. Little fresh hit of some coriander leaves. And then to finish it, a good splodge of some hot sauce. And that, my friends, is uh, my very strange dish of Migas Tacos, but it is a fantastic, really flavorful dish. And you can go many ways, choose your own adventure with this. You can fold it up, which is probably my favorite way of doing it, into a sort of a, a giant burrito-like thing and give it a good bite. Yum. The sweetness of the onions, the sweetness of the tomatoes, in with that velvet scrambled egg action, and then all those fresh toppings. I'm going for more. Mm. It's a really simple way of elevating a very easy dish of scrambled eggs to something that tastes fantastic, that's both perfect for brunch and for your light supper. Now, if you want the full recipe, it is in my brand new cookbook, Everyday Cook, which is out now and you can order in the link below in the description box. If you want the full recipe, it's down there as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. And as always, leave me a comment in the box below letting me know if you're going to try this very tasty recipe. Until then, I'm off to tuck into the rest. So I'll see you soon. Mm.